Por primera vez en la historia de la humanidad. For the first time in history, a canoe that we call the canoe of life, the, named after the hummingbird fish in our territory, a canoe from Sadi Yaku, from the Ecuadorian Amazon, has arrived here to Paris, France. My name is Nina Gualinga, and I'm here with a delegation from Sarayaku. Um, and um, Sarayaku is situated in the Ecuadorian Amazon. Uh, and we have brought a canoe all the way to Paris, uh, here to the COP, uh, with a message of peace, of hope, and a proposal called Kausak Sacha, that means the living forest. Um, and it is a proposal to make sure that nature's rights are being respected, indigenous people's rights are being respected, and also a way to combat climate change. The whole community has been involved, pretty much. Um, there's one person who shapes the canoe, um, and then there are others also helping to burn it and things like that. Um, and then uh, you make like a big party. Uh, you gather all of your friends and family and community members to drag the canoe all the way from the mountain uh, down to the river. We had to take it all the way to the nearest port, which is in Canelos, um, by, the, by canoe. So that took, I think, uh, um, a day or so. Um, and then from Puyo, we had to take it to the capital of Ecuador, Quito, and then from Quito on a plane, uh, or from Guayaquil maybe, uh, to Paris. Um, but first it got stuck in Ecuador um, because of troubles with the flight, I think. And then it got stuck in customs here in Paris. So uh, <laughs> it's been... It's been quite hard to get it all the way here. Could you talk about the negotiations here at the COP and do you feel your voice is being heard inside the summit? I think that indigenous people's voices are the voices that should be heard. Indigenous people should be inside the actual negotiations, but we're not. Those who are actually negotiating right now um, they might not have to live with the consequences of climate change, but I will. I will have to live with it. My sister, my little brother, and my children, they're all going to have to live with the consequences of climate change. And who are they to decide over my future, over my uh, sister's future, over my children's future? Oh.